Hello everyone, this is Paweł Paczkowski with Graphite Production. And let's jump right into the creative process and let's stop talking. So we'll open three images that I took in Fire Valley in 2015. You can use them, no problem. We'll open them in Photoshop. Our goal here is to remove the sky. Okay, so once we load the images into After uh, into Photoshop, I'm sorry, we'll choose the Magic Wand tool. And we will want to select an area we want to delete by left clicking. And as you can see, we made a selection. Now, we want to get rid of the entire sky, so we'll hold Shift and left click again. This will uh, select even more of the sky. And we're gonna do it third time, and we're gonna do it th the fourth time. Now, we need to make sure to unlock the layer by uh, clicking this little icon here. And now we're just gonna hit the delete button to remove our sky. As simple as that. Okay, let's move to the second image and do the same. Now, if you increase the tolerance up here, let's say to 100, you probably will not have to keep selecting. You see, as you can see, we got almost the entire sky selected by just one click. So you want to adjust the tolerance here to make the process quicker. Now, let me show you why you had to click that icon to unlock the layer. Let's say we're not gonna hit it. I'm gonna push delete and now it wants to fill the space over there so that's not what we want. So once again click the icon, hit delete and there we go. Rocks without the sky. And let's repeat the process for the third layer. To save it go to file obviously saves save us and you want to make sure you save it as TIFF okay let's save it in our alpha folder let's call it rock one hit save and you want to make sure to save transparency because that's the whole point of doing this in uh, Photoshop we basically want to remove the sky and we want to stay without that sky. Hit OK. Okay, and we'll repeat the process for the remaining images. Once in After Effects, we'll import the images that we just modified in uh, Photoshop. We, will, we want to make sure that straight and matted, the option on the middle is selected. And we gotta repeat this for each image. Okay, uh, we'll drop all three of those onto our timeline. And we'll make three of those images 3D layers. Now we'll go layer, new, camera. We'll keep the settings the way they are. Now, if we choose camera one that we just created and this button right here, we will see what the camera sees. If we go to the top view, we are going to see the camera from the top and all the layers from the top. So if we grab rock one layer and move it on the z-axis, we're moving it away from the camera. And this is how it looks like from the top. So let's go back to camera one view. And as you can see, the image is moving away from the camera. OK, 
Okay, so we want to adjust all three images so they are at different distances from the camera. Now, rack one, we want it to be the furthest one because it's the background layer. So we want to make sure that it's kind of far. And then we will play with the remaining two. Basically, uh, this one is totally up to you. Have fun with it. Once you're satisfied with your composition, we will want to animate the position of the camera. Uh, let's go to camera settings, camera one settings to transform position. We want to click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe. This is our starting position. Okay, uh, now we'll go all the way to the end on our timeline and we'll go to the top view and we will move the camera towards the images on the axis. Okay, so now we will preview the animation from the top. And as you can see, the camera is traveling on the axis towards the images. Let's go to the camera one view. And there you go. Right now we'll try to uh, color correct this a little bit. So we'll type in hue and and the effect and presets will drop it on rack one and we want to go to master saturation and we want to desaturate the image since uh, since it's at night we want to remove as much as much color as possible we don't want to make it black and white but we want to desaturate it a lot and let's repeat the same process with the remaining two images. There we go. Now we'll type in curves and we'll drop it on each layer as well. And we'll bring this point all the way down here made it really really dark okay let's do it with the remainings and let's not forget about our sky so we're gonna import the sky image and we will uh, desaturate it and make it darker Let's go to layer, new, solid. Let's make it black and uh, 2000 by 2000. In effects and presets type Saber. It's a free plugin from Video Copilot. If you do not have it, go and download it. Let's make the layer 3D and let's set the mode to screen. We'll pick an ellipse tool and by holding shift we'll draw a perfect circle. Now we want to apply this effect to this uh, mask we just draw. And to do so we're gonna go to customize score and under code type we'll select layer masks. That will apply the effect to the mask. Okay. So now we will play with those, some of the effects. We're going to start on the top. And we're going to work our way to the bottom. Okay. So basically, uh, 
we want to change the color of the glow we want it to be kind of orange we want to decrease the glow intensity to about 20 percent start size we want to type 200 percent and size we want zero and end offset we want 50 percent okay now we will duplicate this uh, layer control and d we're gonna go to the second one and we'll switch some of the settings start size will be zero start offset will be 60 and size will be 200 and end offset will be 100 there we go now let's select both of those layers and let's uh, let's let's go to transform and rotation on the axis let's rotate it about negative 30 32 degrees let's grab it on the axis and let's move it away from the camera okay so we will go once again to layer new and once again we will create a solid let's name it a uh, laser we're gonna make it 3d and let's push it down on the axis Let's push it away from the camera. We will drop a saber effect on the laser. We'll change the color to green. And the customized core. We are going to uh, decrease the end size to zero. Okay, now we'll go to uh, fourth second. And we are going to animate start offset. So clip, click on the stopwatch here and type 100%. Now we're gonna go three frames ahead. One, two, three. And we are going to type zero under the start offset. Okay, uh, we will switch the mode to screen. Now we are going to duplicate our background layer. and we are going to play with the curves we will bring this point all the way up again we are gonna drop the reds and we will drop blues as well Now we are going to use a uh, ellipse tool and we will draw a mask around the center of the impact. Now go to the mask options, 
feather it quite a bit go to the fourth second and we will animate the expansion now so click on the stopwatch and decrease the expansion till it disappears okay and we go three three frames ahead four frames I'm sorry and increase the expansion play with the settings till you get the results that you like <laughs> 